Hey, what's up folks? Today I'm making a video guide about the Empty Pockets Trophy on Orcs Must Die Unchained. I'm going to show you my technique that I use in order to spend around 250,000 coins for every endless baths that I do. And sometimes, if I do it well, I can spend as much as 270,000 coins. So I'll show you how I do it. And what this means is that instead of playing the game uh, for about a year or more than a year in order to get the tens of thousands of matches that are required to get the trophy done, you can actually do this in 800 matches. And that's it. That's how much of a drastic decrease it is. It's huge. So I'm going to show you how it's done and I'm going to teach you the secret. So the first thing you need to do is you need to have Dobbin. He's important for this because obviously he's the money guy. You need him. All right. So the next thing you need is a coin forge. Mine's only tier three. The more tiers you have, the more coins you'll get, obviously, you know. But uh, it's fine if you've only got a tier one. It's totally cool. Don't worry about it. So what you need for this specifically is you'll need tar traps. You'll need floor spikes. You'll need a barricade, but you don't want the long barricade. You want the normal barricade, so you want this one. You want arrow walls or whatever wall device you're using, but I would suggest arrow walls. And you want either the pounder or the haymaker, one of the two. And uh, you don't need boom barrels. You can use whatever you want there. But what you could use that will also help you increase how much money you make is the big spender card. If you have this card, put this in your card slot. You need this because what it does is it gives you 250 coin at the beginning of each wave. That's every wave, okay? And it also generates one coin per second. So it's just a constant flow of cash for you. So if you've got big spender, get that as well. All right, so I'm going to save that. And then we're going to start endless baths. So let's do this. So what's the secret? What is the secret to getting all that coin spent? Well, accumulating that amount of coin is not the difficult part. That's the easy part. It's just how do you spend it once you've run out of trap space. And basically it is as simple as just committing suicide constantly. Just kill yourself constantly because when you die, you can spend money to revive yourself and I don't know the exact percentages, although it does not matter. The information is not even all that important. I don't know the exact percentage, but when you die, it's not like a set number, like 1,000 coins to revive you. It's not like that. It's like, I don't know, maybe 10, 15% of what you have in your wallet that's taken off to revive you. I don't know the exact number, but like I say, it doesn't matter. So what you want to do is you want to place two guardians here. But you're not going to place a guardian up there, and I'll explain why in a second. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to put barricades here, and that's it. Just there. That's the only place you want them, right? Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to get your coin forge, and you want to put it here at the entrance of this underpass, right? Just like so, corner to corner. And then you want to put your other one this side. Now they're both free, so they don't cost any money, and you only get two. And then you want to put six tar pits here like this, okay? And then you want to put two arrow walls here, okay? And if you can afford other ones, you can put them here, all right? Just like that. If you can only afford two, put them on this side, because all the enemies run this direction, right? So that's the reason why you want to put that side. Now don't put a guard in here. Because this guardian will get in the way of you making money, so don't do that. So basically, if you've never used a coin forge before, how it basically works is, when enemies run over the coin forge, you kill them, and they turn into money. That's it. That's how simple it is. So let's start this, and let's start making some money. And then what I'm going to do is going to show you what my build is for where I put all my traps and how I perpetuate the match all the way up to wave 28 when the game usually just shuts itself down, it stops right there. I think other people can go past wave 28, but apparently my game cannot, I don't know why that is. 
Um, but even if you only make it to wave 25, that's fine. So when these orcs show up, you want to do a sandstorm thing, dust cloud, whatever it's called, and you want to get all these coin bags. Now, you have to be killing these orcs on the forge like this, and they turn into coins. And you want to do this consistently for as much of the match as possible. And you want to get dust clouds up, because that slows them down. They're also more likely to attack you. Which brings them closer together, making them easier to kill. Like so. Now, my first uh, upgrade that I want to use is Rich Vein, which increases the value of coin bags by 1.5 times. So you want that. And we'll get more money out of those coin bags. And here comes the next wave. Got a perfect score of 8,000. That's a nice round number. Uh, dust cloud again. Gonna kill these little dog things. And you can pick up the, obviously, the money that normally drops as well. Uh, more dust clouds. I like getting them all up to me. Nice and close. Dynamite's really useful as well. Not quite sure if bigger enemies give you more money. Doesn't really matter, we're going to get loads of money anyway. Go to do another dust cloud. And then some dynamite. That was useful. Alright, so it should stop there. No, one more wave. Well, before that wave comes in here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to put arrow walls across this wall here, like this. Not like that, like this. Just like that. A row of arrow walls, just like that. Just a nice, neat row of arrow walls. I think this is the last wave before it asks me to tap it on R1. If memory serves me correctly. And I'll do a dust cloud. There's quite a lot of them in there. Alright, I've got my new upgrade ready. And this time, what I want is Strike It Rich, which increases the chance the enemies drop bags of coin by 10%, so you would definitely want that. Very important. So, if you haven't had enough money so far uh, to follow my steps, I will look at the trap placements over and over again until you've got it exactly like mine, and you implant it into your muscle memory. I'm going to put three traps here, three arrow walls, just like so. So that's what it would look like, three arrow walls there, row of arrow walls here, and then I'm going to do three on this side, but I'm also going to put one here, like that. Okay. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put my roof traps up, I'm going to put these pounders, you can put up whatever you want, haymakers, whatever, doesn't matter, makes no difference, as long as it kills or does something, so that's what you want. Um, you probably don't want to use ballistas because they use up too many uh, of your trap slots, so you don't want to do that. You've only got 85 for this. And what you want to do is you want to put four arrow walls on this wall here, like this. Then you want to get out your tar, and you want to put, you used to be able to put four tar traps here, but there's apparently something on the ground that only appeared here after the game was updated, so they've obviously put something invisible there. And what you want to do is, you want to make this path of tar come out of here, out of this corner, and have a, a diagonal placed tar trap here, and then another one, okay? 
So you've got this diagonal line. And you're going to put two here like this. Okay, so it lines up with the coin forge. Right? And then you're going to put one here. And that's it. That's all you're going to do. So you've got this diagonal path of tar traps right here. Right? Uh, how much money have we got left? 13,000. Next thing, you want to build barricades like this around the rift. So you get four here. And then this one diagonal. And you get three here. And then this one diagonal. You get another three. And then two more. Just like that. And that's it. That's the barricades you want. So four down, three across, three up, and then another two across like this. Around your rift. So all the enemies have to pass these two guardians. So it'll allow you to last longer, live longer. Uh, it's really useful. And uh, let's get more money first. I've got plenty of money, but let's get more money first. Just so you can um, run at the same pace as what I am, roughly. Alright, let's start. So basically this tra trap set up, it's um, basically what it's doing is it's making sure that the enemies are nice and slow so we can go for the longest stretch of time. All my traps are tier 7 as well. I, I don't know how effective it is with low tier traps. Probably not very effective at all. But if you're tier 5, that should do it. That's, that should be fine. Like I say, as long as you get to wave 25, you should get around 250,000 coins. Alright, you definitely want to make sure these guys die on the coin forge. I don't like that they're trying to run past me. Want to get the coin bags. Very, very important that they die on here. Right. Am I going to keep doing this until it returns to the um, L1, R1 start? I've turned the sound off just so that you can hear my instructions clearly. Because you might be playing along with me right now with your own game, so don't want the music or sounds to be a distraction. Having these sand clouds come up often is useful as well because it slows them down. You don't really want them walking past you. That would be bad. So you're actually getting loads of coins already. 26,000 coins already. And we're going to spend all of it. You can see on the top right hand side where the map is, you can see my barricades and the shape formation that they make. If you want to keep track of that. I'm just going to get these dogs because these count as money and then I'll go for the boss who is dead apparently <laughs> he must have been easy because you're on solo as well it should be easy right so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to focus on tar traps so you want to put one here sticking out and then a diagonal one like so. So those two, like that, right? Easy. Then you go tar trap, tar trap, tar trap, up like this, until you see this sort of um, straight line here. 
I'm going to put a tar trap there, like so. Okay. And then follow this path again until you put a tar trap here. Nice straight line of tar traps. They've, only, they've got the gaps of the guardians between them. That's it. And then here, 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 and here up to that wall, right? Then you want to put arrow wall, arrow wall, arrow wall, arrow wall, arrow wall, arrow wall. Okay, so two here, two here, one here. And one here. And one there. Okay, so we've got five traps left. Um, what you want to do is put tar here, tar here, tar here. And uh, have I got one extra? I shouldn't have one extra. Oh, I know why I've got one extra. It's because there's a thing here. Um, ever since they updated the game, and there's been an invisible thing here. So I don't know what it is, but it won't go away. So I've got one spear trap. Normally I would have put it here, the tar trap here. Um, but I can't anymore. So anyway, your final tar trap will be here just at the rift. It gives you plenty of opportunity to kill loads of enemies before they get inside. So that's basically the build. Let's have a, a quick look through it. So let's go to start. So what we've got is we've got... Coinforge first. We got four arrow walls here. Six roof traps. Six tar traps. And then a coin forge on our side. Alright. So easy. Three arrow walls here. A wall of arrow walls here. And then four arrow walls here. Okay. And then we got Diagonal tar traps coming down at this angle, like so. And then tar traps coming down the side, like so. A diagonal one here. And then all the way up to the end, so you've got like a straight line going on here, like a straight path. They're all nice and aligned with each other. All the way around the rift, all the way around the barricades, like so. Okay, so it's all simple enough. I mean, I trust that uh, you guys get it by now. Oh, actually, since I've got a spear thing, I'm going to put an arrow wall here. I never put an arrow wall there. But I've got a spear thing, so I might as well put an arrow right there. I mean, why not? That's useful. I want to find out what that invisible thing is that they've got in the ground. It's so strange. Right, let's do this. Let's get 250,000 coins. Basically, now that we've bought all our traps, every single coin that we get is for spending in death now. <laughs> we don't need it for anything else. What I also recommend that you do is that um, you try and save your... Unchained that you get every so often try and save that For the the fire rock things. I don't know what they're called either. I don't really keep track of the names of these things the fire rock demon things That when you kill them they blow up and they have two little Fire creatures inside them that blow up You want to keep your unchained for that? Uh, because you don't want to die to them You want to die in your own terms so I've got my next upgrade, which is, of course, Gold Rush. Obviously, that was the one I'm going to pick. So grants a one-time drop of 8,000 coins. So I'm going to take that. That's a free 8,000 coins. Prayed Assassin, determined to kill me, but also determined to run away. You don't want to get so preoccupied that you forget to pick up the coins. He'll keep doing that. I really hate Prey Assassin for that. I wish he would just die like a man. Get all these coin bags. 
it's more important that you're getting coin bags than trying to make sure you definitely get a a coin out of a, a dead enemy because obviously you can guarantee the bags Uh, you could get that unstable rift if you wanted, it doesn't really matter. It's actually um, just going to get in the way of you getting your coin bags, really. I wouldn't get it. You want to get as many coin bags and kills on this as you can. I don't really see the point in getting the unstable rifts. This is the most important part of this. These stupid guys, man. They're, they're weird backpedaling footwork. It's annoying as hell. Right, I get it, archers. Yeah, everybody hates you. You're broken and you're annoying. Right, good. All right, thanks. I'm going to kill you. Right, thanks for annoying me for about 10 minutes. Some dogs. Okay, so here comes the fire enemies I'm talking about, because I, I can't remember what they're called. I just call them fire rock enemies. So I'm going to start... Use my unchain now, so I can kill these guys. And when they blow up my face, it doesn't do anything to me. It doesn't kill me, because I don't actually want to die here. That would be totally pointless. I kill these archers, because they never come to the coin forward anyway. Alright, easy peasy. Now I recommend that... Um, you actually pick, kick them in the knees instead of shrapnel storm. Uh, because it's just going to make it easier for you to kill the trolls as well. So I'll pick that instead of the Sandstorm one. It's just easier. So first things first, I've got 69,000 coins there, and I can spend all of it by killing myself. So once you die, push triangle. And uh, keep doing this, just keep killing yourself, triangle, killing yourself, triangle. And that's how you spend the money. That's how it's done. Like so. I keep tapping and tapping and tapping until eventually it spends it. And that's it. I've only got 304 coins left. So let's get more coins. I've officially spent those coins and it registers as being spent coins. And that's the technique. That's all you need to do. You keep doing this until the end of Endless, which isn't actually Endless. It does end. And this will save you from becoming a, a virgin, wasting your life on this game for about two years. And you'll be able to get the trophy much faster, and maybe even a hot girlfriend, or boyfriend, I don't know. Maybe you're into that. Maybe you're a girl. There you go. Easy. Kill you. Kill you. The thing is as well, because you're solo, Everything's so much easier to kill. Some enemies are determined they're going to just walk past you and ignore you. I think that a good technique would be to try and be aware of which enemies are going to aggro on you. So some orcs definitely aggro. And you want to try and draw their attention then because obviously if you kill more enemies on the coin forge, you get more coins. If you keep trying to attract big ones like this to, to stick around, they ain't going to stick around, they're just going to walk past you, do you know what I mean? So, there's no point in chasing the big dopey ones if the little ones are all going to chase you and then you can kill the little ones and get all their coins. You know, you can kill yourself between waves as well. You get plenty of time. It's quite quick. Top triangle and you've already spent coins, you know, it's, it's, it's quick. You can... Do it between waves. Wave 12 already, that was fast. 
I didn't even realize. You want to make sure you pick up the coin bags really fast as well. I know I've said this about five times already, but they do disappear quite fast as well. Goddamn archers, I really hate them. So you see all the little ones, they want to come to me and the, the big ones don't. So I definitely want to use that to my advantage. Get as many coins out of them as possible. Also, if you didn't get enough, you can get them here. You know, that's the reason why we put the second coin forge down. And next wave, I'm going to kill myself a few times. May as well spend that coin. There we go. Easy. Should be able to make it back in time. I'll just do it in this coin forge because I was back late. That's the, the useful thing about having the second coin forge. Oh, we've got the fire stuff, so I'm going to put my Unchained on. Right, and then I'm going to kill these archers if I can get them. There we go, we got some money at the archers. Right, I'm going to kill myself. Kill myself, right. That's that money spent. I'm doing a bit too much of the running in between the enemies and moving the camera around in circles like this. You don't want to do that too much. I know I've mentioned this already, but you just want to be careful because it messes with your frame rate. And it makes it very annoying. Or did I say that before? If I didn't say that before, let me elaborate on that. What happens is, if you keep weaving between the enemies like this, ducking and weaving, and you do it in circles like this with the camera, for some reason it can mess up the frame rate of the game. And it all appears very laggy, and it gets very annoying. You just want to be careful you don't do it too much. That's really what triggers it, I think. Doing it far too often. Okay, what was that? It was like 12,000 coins we spent there, so that's another nice load of coins. Alright, get him. Oh, not fast enough. Let's get these guys in the coin forge. What have we got coming up ahead? We've got lots of heavy stuff. You shouldn't have to worry about things running past you either because, you know, you've got all those guardians down there, well, two. And they're strong guardians. Watch out for these stupid guys that throw bombs, they're so annoying. Get all my coin bags. Right, well, if I've got 16,000 coins this time, spend that. I'm not actually being as fast as I normally am. You want to be right up the top there already. So typical. I started recording and therefore my performance changes. That always happens. It's like the curse of recording. Things change for no reason. I 
I would also talk more, but I do need to concentrate so I can definitely uh, make it to the 250,000 mark so that you'll believe me. <laughs> Lots of big guys. Again, you want to try and get the smaller ones to get attracted to, so don't run away. Oh, I grab those bags. Don't run away chasing all the big ones. That would just be silly. Get these guys. Job done. It's another 15 grand. Alright, and let's get back up there as fast as we can. Oh, I'm being slowed down by cool balls, whatever they're called. That's really annoying. And you're really getting in the way of my coin bag collection. Alright, so we've got fire enemies again, so we're going to go unchained again. Alright, so let's kill these guys. I get smaller ones to see me. Pick up all these coin bags, don't want to miss any. I kill you, kill you, get your coins. I kill myself, we're at 15,000 again. Right, and let's go back up. We've got another unstable rift, but who cares? Uh, too many of them have come down here. I'm going to come down to this one. Oh, I see a coin bag out there. Quick, grab it. Right. You definitely want to get the coin bags every time, like... I know it might seem like, why would you do that? You're killing enemies on the thing, you'll get coin for that. Nah, get the bags. Get the bags every time. Don't don't think of it that way. Don't think of killing the enemies on the coin for just more important. Get the bags, because the bags are actually there. They're guaranteed. I don't know if there's actually maps that give you more money depending on the number of enemies that it has. Never really tested it, but this one works perfectly fine and it's also easy. So that's one way of looking at it. 12 grand, 6 grand, there we go. Oh, there's the mountain troll, we need to kill him. Kill the mountain troll, don't let him go past you. Right, he was important because otherwise he starts hitting your barricades. You want to get him. Right, let's get the little orcs again. There's the money bag. There's money bags. I'm going to go down to this coin forge. Grab these coin bags. There's one over there. Kill you guys. Oh, we've got fire again. Fire rocks. Uh, let's just kill them before they come. Before these guys come down here. Because I want to get coins off of them. Right, now let's kill these guys, right on the coin forge, there we go, good, now we've got another 13,000 did I say, 
And again, and there's, there's enough. You know what? Let's go back up. I'm being too slow, so let's go back up. All right, so, right, okay, so we're at wave 20, and things change slightly. Um, you do, as per usual, you want to prioritize the smaller uh, enemies on the coin forge when you can, but you may get to the point where you have no choice but to run down there and start killing off those trolls before they end your endless for you. Uh, you don't actually want that, that would just ruin the game, and... Oh, these bloody things got off of my feet because you're going to get me killed. So right about now is probably the best time. Oh, so we'll kill these guys. Like so. Should be too hard. Alright. Let's see if I can get some more of these guys in the coin forge. There we go. They're coming to me because they're small and stupid. Uh, dogs will go in the coin forge. Let's kill this guy if I can. Coin bags, got to pick them up, they're important. Prayed assassin being annoying as per usual. Good bloody dog things. So many coin bags. I love it. Right, we better go down there. Because I'm starting to lose control. So you want to stop these guys from getting past your first guardian. Think of it that way. Think of it in terms of you don't want them getting past your first guardian. That's the easiest way to do it. Right, that's fine. They should be able to handle that, no problem. Oh, Pride Assassin. Seriously, you suck. You're like one of the cheesiest enemies in the game because you just run away. Such a pointless enemy to have. Look at all this money coming towards us. <laughs> yep, here he is again. Showing us how brave he is. <laughs> Just as I say that, he runs away. Right, here's some dogs, they're easy money. Let's kill these guys that throw bombs when I get rid of them. They're just annoying. Okay, I think I need to go down here actually, because these guys are starting to reach my first guardian. I don't want it to happen. Coin bag. Gotta get every single coin bag. Gotta catch them all. Uh, I'm missing out on some guys here. I definitely want to get these guys too. I'll run down there in a second. They're almost at my first guardian, which is a bad thing. Right, let's get down there. Let's grab these coin bags. Let's get down there. Let's help my first guardian. Okay, I'm gonna suicide a couple of times. So I've got to get rid of this coin still. Nice and fast, if we could. Right, that's lots of money spent. Let's go up here. It's going to be a faster pace from now on. Right, what's coming down? Right, we're getting lots of little work, so we're going to stay here. They're almost at my first guardian, which is always a bad sign. The tar makes it nice and slow. Okay, I'm going to stay a little bit longer, a little bit longer, a little bit longer, a little bit longer. Right, let's get down there. That's, that should be sufficient enough. Let's get down there. Stop these guys before it's too late. Now commit suicide. There we go. What have we got coming now? We have pretty much nothing. Yeah, 
pretty much nothing because this stuff doesn't really die. Well, that that went to the coin forge. That was okay. Let's just kill the trolls. Why is it that somebody always rings my phone when I'm recording something? Right, I've got to kill these bomber guys because they're annoying as hell. Now, I think that's orcs. It is orcs. Right, quick. Let's try and get as many as we can, whilst we can. They're already down to my first guardian again. Come on, guys, hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Uh, let's get down there, quick. Now we've got lots of yellow dots. That's a bad sign. That means that things explode. Right, they're going for the barricades, but they failed, so that's good. Oh, it's these guys, right? So, unchained again. You don't want these guys to kill you, it just ruins it. These guys just break it, it's just annoying. Right, kill that explodey dog thing. I wish I knew the names of all these enemies, because I sound like a noob. Kill the explodey dog. I'm going to get down there and uh, stop all these trolls. Don't want them to write mean tweets. Oh no, that would be awful. Call the cops. I'm going to spend that suicide money. There we go. What have we got coming? We've got orcs again, which is useful. Stupid dog things, man. I hate the way they just keep throwing bombs at you constantly, like they've got an infinite supply. Let's grab these bags. There's a bag. Definitely want to get the bags, they're more important. Alright, see these guys here? You need to kill these guys straight away. Even if the trolls are going to your rift. Because if these guys blow up your walls, you're yeah, pretty much going to lose anyway. It's pretty much guaranteed at that point. These stupid dogs get off of my feet. Jesus, man. A coin bag, get it? Yes, we got it. I'm rich. Oh, no, it stopped me early. <laughs> Thanks, game. That was only wave 25. See, it does that, or wave 24 rather. What did we get from wave 24 that it prematurely cut the game without me doing anything? I don't know why it does this. It's just stupid. What did we get from 24 waves? Yeah, sure. Four stars. Sure, game. Sure. I don't think so. I think it would have been perfectly alright doing Wave 25 if you hadn't cancelled it out for me, thanks. Yeah, it usually cuts me out at 28, but I have seen that people go further than 28, so I have no idea why the game is doing that to me. Coin spent 272,315... Woo! That was from the game ending too quickly as well. And I did that in 38 minutes, so that gives you a reference of time. Don't ask me to do the maths, guys. 800 times 38 minutes. I'll do it in a calculator and I'll put it on the screen right now. There, it's on the screen right now, I'm sure of it. I'll probably put it there after using a calculator and not my brain. And that's how much time <laughs> it will take to get the empty pockets trophy but there you go that's how you spend 272 coins 272 i normally only get 250 so this was a good run this was a good good run really excellent 
brilliant, excellent, love it. So I hope this helps you guys. Uh, you'll get your trophy a lot faster this way. Um, obviously, the, you still technically earn it by definition because you still did the grind. Um, some people get all funny when you don't do it the, the way that the developers intend for you to do it. Like, oh, that's not the way they wanted you to do it. You've got to do it, you know, like constantly for years. <laughs> don't do that. Do my technique. Have a life and a platinum trophy. Right. So that's the end of the, the tutorial, guys. And um, I'm actually going to make a full guide for the full game for the other trophies. I've made this one separate just so that the certain crowd that have all the other trophies can just come straight to this one and watch this video separately because it's so long. Um, but I really appreciate you coming to this channel, watching this video. Um, if you want to see more content, why not subscribe, leave a like, and uh, leave a comment. And uh, if you do get your platinum, let me know. Tell me that you've got your platinum, because uh, I always like to hear it. And uh, thanks again. See you guys.